Hello my Wolfpack puppies, Wolfpup14 here, and today in this video we will be playing an expansion pack that I have never tried before. So it came out in... So it came out late 2020, November 13th, 2020 to be exact, and there had been this sale going on. Uh, some of the expansion packs were 50% off, the high school year one was 38% off, Growing Together was not on sale yet. But I was tempted, and then I finally decided to buy it. Please ignore my sim that somehow is not wearing, like, any clothes and has lost her hair. <laughs> but let's get started. I wanted to do my first playthrough of this with all of you guys. Yay! Okay, I got the pop-up. So I guess now you guys know which expansion pack I just recently bought. Welcome to The Sims 4 Snowy Escape. Chase your thrills. Test your sim skill and endurance with activities on the mountainside. Grab skis for a downhill ride. Strap on a snowboard to shred or bundle up on a sled with another sim. Find your zen. Sims worries will float away in the natural hot springs. Then unwind over a hot pot around the kotatsu table. Or socialize while hiking through bamboo forests and snowy terrain. Create your sanctuary. Whether you prefer the traditional details or modern touches of Japanese-inspired furniture and decor, you can incorporate shoji doors, windows, and screens, tatami mats, and more to design a home that complements your life. Define your lifestyle. Unlock new personality and relationship effects with lifestyles and sentiments. Was... The lifestyle portion introduced in this pack, I I can't remember. Lifestyles manifest in response to your sense actions and habits. Similarly, shared experiences inspire sentiments and have a lasting impact on sense relationships. I remember sentiments were kind of like a free install, uh, maybe. But anyway, I decided instead of creating a whole new character of sims, I'm just gonna choose one of my own sims, or I'm just gonna choose one of the sims that already live in Mount Komorebi. I think it's really cool how they made a whole city that is focused and surrounds the Asian, especially the Japanese culture. Alright, so I have turned off aging, and now let's check out the new world. Ah, there's Mount Komorebi! Oh, hold on, I have to read the description. Locals have enjoyed the healing hot springs of Mount Komorebi for centuries. Now, thanks to the modern snow sports resort in Yukimatsu, everyone else can too. The region has become a hot spot for tourists looking for a vacation that's equal parts relaxing and adventurous. With so many new visitors, there have been a lot of changes to the rolling forests that surround Mount Komorebi. Hopefully, the area will be able to maintain the charm that drew so many sims to it in the first place. Wow. So we have the Akiyama family. The Akiyamas moved away from the hustle and bustle of the city to the quiet town where Kado was raised. The commute will be a sacrifice, but Jenna and Kado hope the close-knit community and beautiful natural atmosphere of the region will be worth it. Kado was surprised at the recent news that his childhood sweetheart Megumi, Ito, has also moved back to Mount Komorebi. He loved nothing more than to leave the past in the past, but the pieces of his broken teenage heart are still tender. Mmm, I sense a love story! Nishidake. Rumors says the Nishidake family are sacred guardians of Mount Komorebi. Indeed, Shigeru fumes over the Ito family's local development plans. Sachiko, however, feels warmly towards Megumi due to an old friendship with the younger woman's mom. Plus, she knows what's in her granddaughter's heart. Kaori moved to Mount Komorebi after losing her parents. She soon discovered two loves, the slopes and the son of her grandfather's sworn enemy. If she had one wish, she'd melt her grandfather's heart in heart. Ah, oh, so this is Kaori. And this was... Kado, was it? Okay, so it looks like there aren't a lot of families. Ooh, there's this one, the Ito family. Here we go. Megumi Ito grew up in Simba Machi, a gold medalist here she aims to give her children- I'm sorry, I'm so far away from my mic. It's, uh, it's really tiny text. I mean, I cropped it to make it bigger for you guys, but... A gold medalist here, she aims to give her children the same upbringing, though memories of an old flame might drive her to distraction. Naoki Ito is a former medalist himself, a calculating businessman. His controversial vision of Mount Komorebi includes more tourism, more money, and modernization. Nanami and Kiyoshi have their parents' athletic talent, but their hearts lie elsewhere. Nanami just wants to be a kid, and Kiyoshi is crushing on more than the slopes. Alright! Alright! Wow! Sembamachi, the town of a thousand leaves, is the oldest in the region. Many locals enjoy the town's connection to nature, especially with the bamboo forest surrounding the town, and unique, sprightly creatures that make a home in their leaves. It's said that if you walk the local trails long enough, you're bound to meet the guardians of the trees who reward those who love and respect their dwelling. And then we have Wakaba. Like its namesake, Wakaba is a young new and oh, is young new and bright as the leaves of a tree in early springtime. This small town is up and coming in the region, home to beautiful sleek new homes and an attractive town center featuring Mount Komorebi's official mascot, Yamatan. Tourists of all ages can enjoy the festival of youth or simply take in the neighborhood's natural beauty. Yay! Okay, where was that woman who was in the trailer? Where is she? Huh. I can't find her. Well, anyway, these must be the default houses for, ooh, the onsen. So are these like vacationing spots? Or can you actually travel to live here? Well, I'm gonna grab a couple of my sims to play with and have them move there. Okay, 
I found the perfect household for this. It has almost every life stage and basically the life stages that have a major difference. We have an elder, we have some adults, we have a toddler, and uh, well, we don't really have any teens, but you know what, that's okay. Um, I was considering not having the toddler be with them, but you know, I like a challenge. So let's see if we can move the household. Let's go to Mount Komarebi. Yay. Oh, oh, well, it looks like there are some nice houses. Uh, which one? Mm, I don't think we want to be in the woods. Kiyomatsu Point. Mm, what about 641 Hanamigawa? Uh, or 241 Wakabamori. Yeah, but that doesn't look... Uh, let's do this one. Two, four, three, Wakabamori. Oh, we might have to renovate it a bit. Oh, it's furnished. Okay, and we'll keep our furniture. That's good, that's good. All right, let's go. And we get right into it. And it is storming, so you guys better get inside. Oh my goodness, look how tiny this house is. Okay, uh, well, you know what? Before they actually uh, come in, <clears throat> I'm going, ooh, look at these stylized rooms. Peak kitchen, private hot spring, uh, grunge retreat, my sweet komarebi room. Oh, that's cute. <gasps> Can we use that one for the toddler? And those are the old ones. Okay. Um, well, we are definitely going to... <gasps> Can we stick the kid here? <gasps> Let's stick the toddler... Oh, no, wait. That's the entrance room and it's halfway outside. Okay, that that was a terrible idea. Ignore, ignore the fact that I said that. Actually... Well, let's move this forward. <gasps> I'll be back with the renovations, guys. Oh my gosh, guys, look. Traditional tatami mat. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Guys, look, everything's yellow. That means there's lots of new stuff. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, not a lot of new toddler stuff in this pack, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Wow. Bathroom is small. <gasps> There's a separate room for the toilet! <laughs> That's so cool. That's a very nice detail. Ooh, something new for the kids? Oh, another art table. Ooh, activity table and beakers and baubles science set. Yes. Where's the toddler stuff? I need the toddler stuff. Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay, so basically for the renovation is I just added more beds for everyone. And I added the toddler essentials. I placed the bed down the hallway, which um, is not a smart idea. I wouldn't do it in real life, but um, it's okay. Let's uh, get all of our Sims inside. Yeah, let's just teleport them. Yes, they do have mods installed. It'll make it easier. There we go. All right, let's all watch them teleport. There they go. And I will just save in case any of them perhaps... Get struck by lightning, because I know that happens on The Sims 4. Similarly, uh, oh, oh, Hanamigawa. Yeah, that's right. 